Willie Waffle standing by right now. Good morning, Willie. Good morning. Well, good morning, and Jeff's got it right. The mid-afternoon nap is the best sleep of life. Mm -hmm. It really is. Uh, But, you know, if you sleep too long during that mid-time, you struggle trying to get to sleep at night. So it's uh, more tired. Uh, Okay, Willie. And you got to correct this for me and and set me straight. How long has Captain Marvel been a female? (laughs) Uh, That's a good question because it's gone back and forth a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, it, mostly she's been female, but there was I think there was a short stretch of time in the comics where um, essentially Captain Marvel was a male. So, but for this time in our history, it is probably the prime time for Captain Marvel to be a strong female, right? Oh, yeah, and, you know, and, and that's one of the things that I, I kind of I felt weird about in the movie because, you know, I think the movie as itself stands as just a really great superhero movie. It's got the action. It's got the fight scenes. It's got the special effects. And then we've got the, the um, how do I want to put this, the female empowerment soundtrack of the 90s. Yeah and, yeah. and they're really trying very hard, almost it seems like after the fact, to try to shape Captain Marvel into the female warrior for our times. Mm. And the story's not necessarily there but to do that, but they're trying to impose it on it for marketing purposes. Does, and and that, that feels yeah. weird. Does, uh, does Captain Marvel, does she make as much money as Superman? I mean, is it equal pay? <laughs> no. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Right. <laughs> but you, usually, usually the first time you do one of these superhero movies, you do it on the cheap because it's going to make a ton of money. They're going to have to owe you millions and millions of dollars for the sequels. And the next movie you do that's not the superhero movie usually pays really well. That's where you make the money. Okay. So, yes. Do we really need a uh, Captain Marvel when we already have a Wonder Woman, though? Well, yeah, it's a totally different comic. Right, well, so, yeah, they're, so, they're on different teams, and I think yeah. that's the thing you have to look at. You know, Wonder Woman's on the DC comic team. Captain Marvel is on the Avengers team, which is really the better team, the team that's actually doing very well and winning. And, and you get to see that in this movie. I mean, it, it does follow kind of that Captain Marvel formula. Yeah. You've got the action. You've got the funny one-liners. You've got, you know, all of that playing in here. And I think what they bring in to this movie is a little bit more soul because Captain Marvel, mm. Captain Marvel has – all these memories that she doesn't doesn't know where they came from. She can't put them all together. And this mission she's on in this movie is going to set okay. her straight and set her on the path to uh, well, Avengers Endgame. In well, about a month and a half. you <laughs> you learn uh, here about Joe that Joe, you can tell he's a child of the '90s, the '80s and '90s, because he's like, we met our quota. We got a woman in there. <laughs> All we need is one. Why do we need two? I, right? Listen, I was going to say you need a blonde, a brunette, a redhead, a black <laughs> girl. You need a girl who comes over from overseas. You need you need There's a mother. You can have a whole fleet. All right, Willie. I know this is your this is in your wheelhouse. Uh, what did you think of? And I, I have two two part question. What did you think of Captain Marvel? And for someone like me that it's not in my wheelhouse, I don't follow these all that carefully. Um, Black Panther, I was a little lost at times. Is this good for the novice when it comes to uh, these these comic book type movies? Well, you know, I, like you said, this is in my wheelhouse. This is the kind of movie I love. Uh, you know, I think if you're not familiar with it or you're you have somewhat of an aversion to comic book movies, this movie can be a little difficult to follow. And then there's some twists and turns and, and the whole idea that we're dealing with a lot of alien races. I mean, it just it could be a little bit too sci-fi, I think, mm. for some people who have a little bit of an aversion to that. But I think if you, if you play along and you ride out the storm, you know, you're going to get more of a, a soulful story towards the end. And come on, Samuel Jackson is hilarious. So you yeah, got that yeah. going for mm-hmm. you. So, uh, so the storyline is good. You like the storyline of this one? I do. I do. I, yeah. th- I think it is the ultimate superhero story. It's 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 the origin story. Where did you come from? What shaped your beliefs? You get all of that in Captain Marvel. Uh, any questions, people? Davy, any questions? I know you're a big fan. He thinks she's quite attractive. That Captain oh. Marvel. Uh, okay, here's <laughs> the big question. What do you give this one? Uh, oh, it's got to be high. It's got to be what high. Do you, what do you know. think, Willie? Oh, I'm going four. Wow. Oh, I know. Oh, really good. Okay. You and could that, tell he was all in for New Guinea. And that's a four yeah, out of four for those that uh, that don't know. So this is, especially if you're in, this is the movie to see. This is a good one. And it is a setup for a couple of months down the road, too, right? We're 
right. This is introducing Captain Marvel because she will play a very integral part in Avengers Endgame, which is coming out at the end of April. If you stick around during the credits, you get a little bit of a glimpse into that in one of the scenes. And, you know, it's also setting up what I've kind of started calling Avengers the Next Generation because Iron Man and Captain America, and they're, they're going to kind of go away. Yeah. And the Avengers mm-hmm. are now going to be Captain Marvel and Spider-Man and Black Panther. And it's going to be interesting to see if the Avengers movies will still be just as popular as they are right now. All right. Uh, a couple of quick questions. Uh, I want your take on uh, Steven Spielberg. Is it Spielberg that's saying uh, no to Netflix uh, in consideration for movie of the year? And what's your take on that? You know, this is a really interesting fight because, you know, on, on one level, Spielberg has a point. You know, this is the motion pictures, arts and sciences. Okay, motion pictures, not... TV movies that we played in a theater so we could get an Oscar. And it, it really is kind of a fight between old school and new school, yeah. too. You know, he really is old school, the big screen and the big, you know, production. And Netflix is the new way. Watch it on your phone whenever you want. Right. So going down to some stuffy movie theater and paying $10 for popcorn. You know, I, I think he's going to lose this one. I really do. Yeah. I yeah. think that the Academy doesn't want to look like it's behind the times and ex- Excluding, uh, excluding Netflix, which has produced some really good movies. Yeah. And if there's ever been a time that the Academy needs to look like they are they're progressive and they're on top of things, it is now, I would think. They've had a lot of criticism over the years. Yeah, they, they've been taking it really hard. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're coming off an Oscars, which actually was more successful than the Oscars have been in the past few yeah. years. And I think they want to keep that positive momentum going. I, my guess is there'll be no host again next year. I thought that the no host concept kind of worked this year for them. Well, you know, it worked for them, and I think it worked for their, their partnership with ABC. <laughs> yeah. The show got done on time. I mean, it was a little bit over, but it yeah. was on yeah. time. The way ABC has really been drumming into them, we need to do this. Yeah. Like, yeah. you don't get four hours anymore. Uh, we have 30 seconds quickly. Um, leaving Neverland, it's beginning to, the ripple is beginning now. You're seeing radio stations around the world dropping Michael Jackson music. In uh, 10 seconds, what are your thoughts? You know, why Why weren't people doing this 20 years ago when I we agree. heard all these stories anyway? Yeah, I completely <laughs> agree. If you ever wonder why victims don't come out, this is the movie to see, and it's available on HBO. All right, Willie, good stuff. Thanks. Enjoy the weekend. Hey, you too. We'll see you next right. week. Uh, wafflemovies.com, and, of course, four out of four waffles for, uh, for Captain I think you wanted uh, to give it a little yeah. Alamode, too. Got a break. <laughs>